Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gaming here. I am going to run a series of tests just to demonstrate what possible programs you could use to kind of get an idea if your overclock is stable. Now, there is obviously a lot of debate on the duration of time that should be used to validate your overclock with these programs I'm about to show, but um, that's down to you. I'm just going to show you an example of these tests running for about 10 minutes each each round for each different application. Obviously, in a personal test, I'd use about an hour or, or 30 minutes, but generally, if your overclock is unstable, you wouldn't be able to make um, 30 minutes, that's for sure. So what I'm gonna do is start off by using a quick test, and that's Blender, just to kind of demonstrate things. Um, and I'll kick off with the BMW test now this test is well used to kind of demonstrate if your CPU is stable or not so what I'm gonna do is run the CPU render test and we can check out if my Intel i7 8700k at 5 gigahertz using 1.24 volts is good enough to remain stable on all cores with no AVX offset so I'm also gonna put up sort of throw up the task manager here and go to performance that way you can see that there is no fluctuating with the core. So let's get the rendering test underway. I may as well start the timer as well so you guys can see how long it took. Okay guys, so there's the Blender BMW rendering test, quite a well-known test for kind of working out if your CPU can can handle the settings you've just put in. So it's kind of a good place to start, but um, obviously there's more strenuous tests that are to come. So that took around 4 minutes 38 seconds and maximum temps was 81 on the core 2, everything else was in the mid, mid 70s. So looking good and again all at 1.24 volts so let's reset the clock and let's try another application so i'm thinking ida 64. so let's go with the stability test so this stresses cpu and fpu Let's go with a 10 minute test and we can watch the temperatures as well. I'll reset the temp so we can kind of compare it each application separately. So temps are reset as well. And I'm going to go ahead with the test and start the clock and I'll come back after 10 minutes. Okay guys, so that is the end of the IDA64 test. So after 10 minutes of running, maximum core was 78 degrees. Most of them were in the low 70s, 74. Core 2 is the, the hottest core on, on my CPU and everyone knows that there's always one core that's generally warmer than the rest of the core, so that's just the way it is. So, no issues with either 64 stress, FPU and CPU tests. I can close that down. Let's move on to something like Prime 95. I'm just going to quickly reset the clock and also reset my temperatures before I go ahead. Okay, ready to go. I'm going to go with Prime 95. Let's go with the crazy, brutal, unrealistic test that is small F FTs. Maximum FPU stress data FFS in L2 cache RAM 
not tested much but this test just so just for the record is not representing any realistic scenario you would be using on your pc but it's the kind of iron clad your cpu can is bomb proof kind of test so i'm gonna go with it and see how my intel i7 8700k with no avx at 1.24 volts handles this kind of pressure so I'm just going to put that up to the side and I'll start the timer and you can see temps down here and I'll be back in 10 minutes. So there you have it guys, that's the end of the Prime 95 test. What I, it's an unrealistic load basically. My CPU would never need to do something so strenuous for a sustained amount of time like that. But um, temp wise, 83, 84 for the top two cores, everything else was 79, 78, 76 and 75. So definitely manageable. And all of this at 1.24 volts, no AVX, 5 gigahertz on all cores so uh, for anyone that has any any doubts about how stable or valid this overclock is um, hopefully that just sheds a little bit of light on that obviously personally you'd probably want to run these applications about 30 minutes as a minimum but um, as I said before it's debatable uh, the duration of a valid test is but you know in my experience you can get through 30 minutes of all three of these tests you're, you're good to go really so that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to leave you now with a quick look at my, my PC and its, and its cooling system. And um, I'll also leave you with a quick um, fly through of my BIOS settings just so you guys can see the, the settings I used. And um, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.